Hey there, I thought I'd explain a little bit better some of the things I didn't explain so well in my last video. Because, as I said, I poorly worded it, and a lot of people have misinterpreted what I've said. Um, okay, my main beef is this. A lot of people who are atheists who talk negatively about religion because religion promotes these traditional bullshit values are some of the same people who are promoting bullshit traditionalist values. You know, this is the same kind of complaint that I have about a lot of the, the fundamentalist feminists who pushed forth a, a, an ideology, who pushed forth a dogmatic ideology and start trying to declare a sense of, of morals. Now, it's a, it's, a, it's a little different than the stuff that some of these atheists are pushing forth, but it's still, you know, like, it's still a way of pushing forth a traditionalism. The, the, some of these feminists are shoving forth that um, we need to treat women like they're fragile little princesses, you know? And that it's the moral thing to do. But then we've got all these anti-feminist, atheist side. We've got people shoving forth their sense of traditionalism. This idea that women are inferior. Some of them are pushing forth that they word it a lot differently, but they're basically shoving forth that black people are inferior. Um, some of them are still promoting a lot of homophobic uh, ideas. And... Yet, these same people are going to complain about religions because religions do that same thing. To me, all this is proving is that no matter what, no matter whether someone's an atheist, whether they're religious, whether whatever, that people can, anyone can hold on to some hateful beliefs. Anyone can have an ideology that's that promotes hate. And when that sort of thing is being promoted, the only thing that it's going to cause is hate from the other side. But then you'll call those that are hating the haters hate speech. So if you don't like this hate speech and you speak against this hate speech, well, that's hate speech to speak against this hate speech. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. And one more thing, okay? I do not promote the idea of Twitter um, shadow banning people, okay? I'm not promoting that. Now, I won't deny that I have to laugh to myself when I see some of these assholes being uh, uh, shadow banned. I have to snicker to myself a little bit. I, I won't deny that, but I'm still not someone that promotes it. Um, so... You know, I don't think censorship is the answer. All I was saying is that I understand why they're being censored. That doesn't mean that I support the censorship. I'm just saying I understand why they're being censored. Those are very different things from each other. So, you know, it's just like I can understand why... Uh, some of the people that are within the Black Lives Matter movement uh, say some of the horrific things they say. That doesn't mean that I support what they say. I can sometimes understand why some of these, these batshit crazy fundamentalist feminists say some of the shit they say. It doesn't mean I promote what they say. But when it comes to this, this pushing this traditionalist bullshit, You know what it's out of? It's out of fear. 
Fear of change. And no, not all change is good. I would never try to claim that either. Okay, I've talked about those three pillars before. The, the, you know, we've got ownership, control, and manipulation. And if we try to take down any one of those pillars, yeah, our society will crumble. Um, you know, if we destroy any one of those pillars, we can, we can work towards reducing the negative effects of those pillars, but we can't actually get rid of one of those pillars or we're toast, right? And I think people know this stuff in the back of their mind and they are worried that every time someone tries to remove, to reduce the negative effects of these pillars that they're going to try to destroy one of the pillars. And that's some of where this fear comes into place. But it's unfounded. It's unfounded. We're not even nearly to a point of having to worry about that sort of thing yet. We, we probably will be in the future, but we're, we're not close to that yet, really. There are a lot of people who are promoting change who have no fucking idea what it, that, what it is that, that, that they're promoting, how that will affect things. Because they're not really looking at reality. They're looking at reality from the perspective of some, some studies they did in college. Look, I took sociology in college, therefore I know about how, how things really work. No, you know about this book side of things. You know, that's like someone saying, well, I've, I've read up and studied uh, how engines work, therefore I'm a good mechanic. No, you're not a good mechanic until you've actually done, that, done me mechanic uh, work for a while. You can read up about how computers work, but until you've actually worked with them, you can't claim that, oh, I'm a computer tech. Yeah, because you read some, some books. Doesn't mean shit. Another example, you know, someone can read up on music theory all they want. They get all the terminology down. They have all of the, they get the names of all the modes. They get the names of everything, right? But they can't write us. they couldn't write a song to save their life. They couldn't write an original anything. Because everything's been about the way that things have been studied in the past. So some people try to say, oh, it's all biological. And then there's some people that say, oh, it's all a social construct. The truth is somewhere between those things. Now, to me, it's way, way more towards being a social construct with the biological elements being relatively small. Um... But that's my belief. I'm not going to state it as some sort of absolute. I'm not going to state, oh, this is a fact. It is my belief. But I don't believe that I'm, I don't think that I'm pushing that out in any sort of hateful way. If I am, I'm sorry. And if I am, maybe someone could point it out where I'm being hateful about it. So.